So here's something I've never done before. A friend of mine uh, gave me this hard drive to try and get working again, which he dropped about four inches. And uh, he was making this beep, beep, beep noise. Which you may just about hear that I recorded earlier. Now I saw a video elsewhere on the YouTubes by, can't remember who it was. I'll put it in the titles. And he spoke about how that some of these can have a can have a head crash, um, and that can cause the heads to stick to the disc. Now I've known about the, the about that for a while, but what he did give me the courage. And my friend said he doesn't care about this drive, um, although there is some data on it. There's no way we're going to get it off otherwise. Um, he said it was okay for me to destroy it or fix it. So I was actually stuck on with sellotape this particular drive which is a Seagate Free Agent Go which uh, say probably dropped when it was on. So I did take it apart earlier and just checked that this board here hadn't become dislodged and it hadn't but then I took this apart and um, tried to see if uh, another board uh, would work on it in case it was the board that had gone kaput and uh, it still made the same noise when I powered it up. So I wish I could remember who it was but um, he said that people think that you can't take these drives apart and uh, without killing them but of course if it's dead anyway it doesn't really matter but uh, the head being stuck to the platters, if that happens, can stop it spinning up and that can be the problem. And that might get us enough of, get this disc to be able to boot again, uh, which will then mean I can get some of the data off for my friend. So I've never done this before. It's quite, well, I have done this before. I've taken apart hard drives, but. I've never, um, I've only taken them apart to get the look what's inside and to get the magnets out of them on occasionally, which can be quite fun. So there's torque drives on this. Uh, that's a bit big. This is a little um, cheap little set I actually got with a Chinese 3D printer. And this little set came with it, which is quite nice. I'm hoping it will be compatible with my Poundland thing. Hey, yes it is. So I can use that. So let's undo these screws. Notice that uh, my um, workbench is absolutely free of dust. Not. Just for the fun, I was cutting with my uh, laser cutter in here earlier and did some sanding. But anyway. There's also other channels out there that tell you about um, how to make chambers. Um, um, chambers that you can make little clean rooms that you can just put your hand in, which is quite nice. But um, my friend said that the data on this wasn't, um, although he wanted it back, it wasn't desperate. So. He's not going to be able to afford to pay for um, data recovery on it. So these have normally got another um, screw somewhere inside. Looks about there. Is that it? Or is that the... It looks like a screw. Yep. Oh, definitely. Alright. Now I've got to take this off. Now, the point is, you can possibly get this to spin up again if the heads aren't on the aren't in the parked position when you turn it on. If the heads are parked, then that's not what the issue is. So hopefully what we've got to see, as the other guy from YouTube said, is we've got to see whether the um, heads are on the platter. So here we go. Yes, all right. So, this is the scary bit. I've never been as careful as this before. 
So what you have to do is apply um, anti-clockwise rotation to the platter while moving this across. I can already see some damage I think to the platter. Try and turn it anti-clockwise while I'm pulling this head back. So let's have a go. Oh, very easy. All right. So as far as I understand, that is it. So let's, he said to just check the platter for dust, but I'm just going to go, I don't want to mess about with it anymore. I'm just going to go straight in there and tighten it up again. Just so that it's open for as little time as possible. And then get these screws back in. I did check before I took this apart as well whether the drive was still in warranty because I thought if nothing else he could get a new drive. Okay, and replace that so I don't use it because this is really useful. The fact it's compatible with Poundland as well makes it even better. All right, so that is a drive that may or may not be fixed. I doubt it very much, but let's just see whether it spins up properly once we power it up. See whether the beeping continues or whether it spins. Okay. So it span up, but it still made horrible sounds. So don't think it works, but it was an interesting concept and there's something that I've never done before. We'll see. Uh, what happens. I'll put something after this video. At the end of this video, if um, when I plug it into a Mac, it um, recognises it, but otherwise I think that is a trash disc.